Hey guys, happy Friday. This is the beginning of a new vlog. You guys see that? I got my hair did. Finally, because last week's vlog, I was just looking at it like, get your hair done, girl. But yeah, um, I went to Target last night. And I was just like, let me show you guys what I picked up. I couldn't make it to Sephora to get my usual face things. And I also was in the mood to spend nearly $200 on face care. So I went back to the basics and the basics never failed me it was just like me kind of being like oh i have more money so let me spend more money or like being introduced to new pr packages and i'm just like oh i actually like this let me go buy it and forgetting like what was <laughs> really you know helping me out oops <laughs> so for starters i got me a set of fill this stuff right here so good smells so clean highly recommend and it's very like light on the skin it doesn't it doesn't irritate the skin um i know a lot of people think i have perfect perfect skin and i won't deny it but i do get breakouts in these regions right here solely to like um me not using the right facial cleanser or like putting bar soap on my face because bar soap, for me, it works, but it overly dries my face. So it takes out all the oil, but then I have to follow up with a rich moisturizer. So I'm not opposed to bar soap on my face. It just, like, really dries it out. This takes out the perfect amount of oil, leaving some, so that when I do put my moisture, my basic moisturizer on, it just complements it well. Then I have... This, but it's not in the bottle. I hope. Yeah. Then I have Cetaphil, um, the lotion. This is a lotion for the face. Yeah, this is supposed to be for the face. It's supposed to say face on it. When I usually had it, it would say face on it, but it's for the face. Ladies, if it doesn't direct if the product doesn't direct to face, it's probably not for the face. Like the rest of our body, um, we could take any type of lotion, I feel. But the face, we need something to make sure that it doesn't plug, clog up our clog up our pores. So this brand I found in the past works very well for me. I really wanted to show you guys this because honestly, this is my first time buying this. And yes, black people, we need to wear sunscreen. And I wanted to get myself into it because I have a body sunscreen but nothing for my face because as I said, what you put in your body, you cannot put in your face because it's going to clog your core. Clog your core. Clog your pores. Why is that a tongue twister for me? But yeah. Then I got my basics as far as body lotion. Nivea is my go-to. Nivea, Nivea, whatever. I try to get anything rich in moisture. Um, so... There's that. I had two Target bags, I guess. Yeah. This is the facial sunscreen. I'm going to try everything today and I'll let you guys know by tomorrow like how it feels on my face. I can't tell you how it works, but I'll tell you how it feels. And my face is pretty sensitive. Like, if something doesn't work out for me, I will get like a pimple like somewhere here in this region by tomorrow, if not Sunday. So, yeah. There's that. Then, I feel like this is my best kept secret. So, I really don't share this with many people. I've been using this for like, I want to say mid-COVID. Um, I work at a hospital. A lot of brands during COVID, even outside of COVID, but mainly during COVID, they will come and give us goodie bags for being like um, workers, pandemic workers, whatever. And, yeah, this was one of the things that was in the goodie bags. And at first, I was just like, what is this thing? Like, it looks like it's for old people, blah, blah, blah. This, this right here is expensive crack. One, the container they gave us was, like, not this big. It was, like, a squeeze-out situation, like a toothpaste bottle. And they gave us so much that I never had to buy it till now. I think I was out of it for, like two months and I was just like hmm 
like I haven't come across it in stores. But anyways, yesterday in Target, I seen it and I took it off the shelf like, oh my gosh, I miss this so much. I need it. I rung this up and I nearly called for customer service because this was $25.99. Like, this is, this is huge. I know this will last me, but I don't know. Like, I don't know. It's worth it. It's worth it. It's worth it. So get you some. It's expensive, but I feel like it's worth it. So, yeah, I waited to um, record everything for you guys before using it because I'm out of everything. I don't have no body lotion. I don't got no face lotion right now. So, yeah. Um, I'm heading to work. That's pretty boring, so I won't take you guys with me. But, um, I'll see you guys tomorrow, which is Saturday. And, yeah. Before I let you guys go, I'll just show you guys, like, my facial routine. Um, it's not, like, printed out on paper. Like, this is literally, like, a hard draft of it. Um... Right now, I'm using the Kiehl's Eye Serum. So, this is that. This is supposed to be a pump. Like this. But ever since I got it back in no, December, January, um, the pump just never worked. So, I popped that bad boy open. Because one thing with me, I really don't like doing exchanges and stuff. Like, I'm a go to work and come home type of girl. So yeah, I think under eye cream is very necessary. You can't just be putting lotion on. So I have this Kiehl's Dark Circle Diminishing Vitamin C Eye Serum. I don't consider myself having dark circles. For me, I really think it's like a shadow that I have in my face. Like this is the way my face is shaped because when I turn in certain directions, you don't really see it. So it's like, a, for me, it's a shadow. But... I feel like my under eye skin is like very sheer, so it needs all the strengthening, all the strengthening that it can get. Then I have um, a face serum. So this is called the Daily Reviving Concentrate from Kills as well. This honestly, when I first started using it, I found that it was breaking me out, but. That's also because I wasn't using like a complimenting um, face wash. So my face wash doesn't have to be harsh, but when you have all these steps in your facial routine, you need to make sure you have a face wash that's balancing things out and um, cleansing all the oils out your skin. Because yes, a serum is good for your skin, but throughout the day, your face is going to produce even more oils. Um, if you're not washing your face every night before bed and in the morning, you're going to break out. But I find that using the serum, <clears throat> it caused my skin to like, you know, kind of even out. Because even though I don't get breakouts, I've always struggled with textured skin. Like just like little heat bumps all over my skin. So I feel like that kind of evened out. Um, prior to this, I was using Verse products. I love it. They actually sell Verse in Target, but they were in a container, and I didn't feel like um, getting an employee to open it for me. So there's that. But I do have some of the, um, the Verse eye cream left, but the moisture, the face moisturizer that I was using by them ran out. So there's that. So I have the eye cream. I'm gonna use the eye cream, the soothing. It's called the Zero G Smoothing Eye Cream. So I'm gonna apply that under my eyes. It's just a tad bit, goes a long way. It has a lot of slip, as the girls will say. Then I have one pump of my Cetaphil moisturizer. I'm gonna apply that all over my face. I'm gonna try to avoid my eyes. Because if you put it on your eyes, um, you can cause yourself to get clogged pores under your eyes. Well, on your eyes right here. 
but yeah try to like even the serum i didn't think i don't think i showed you guys but put the serum also on your neck screen sunscreen also on your neck so this set of fill i mean this sunscreen do you put it on after your face i think i was supposed to put this on before i put on my moisturizer let's see uses direction shake well apply liberally 15 minutes before sun exposure as needed um it doesn't say if i should put it before or after my moisturizer so i'm just gonna put it like this much like on my forehead and right here but my forehead like you know is closest to the sun tops of my nose right here and yeah, let's see. <clears throat> let's see how that works for me. So yeah, I'm about to go to work. Happy Friday. I can't wait till every day is a Friday for me. And I forgot to show you guys this. Right here. Focus. If you do not have this, you need this, okay? Um, I'm not sure how much this is, but I believe it's anywhere between... 30 and 40 dollars and it's worth every penny i've had this since i want to say december january and yeah i apply this once in the morning once at night maybe in the afternoon depending on like my water intake but so good like i suffer from dry lips like i wake up in the morning my lips be like nice and plump and throughout the day you just shrivel up and like this stuff just keeps it plumped and just moisturized and not like a um a plumper plump just like a natural plump and yeah off to work off to my nine to five <laughs> i'm not complaining lord but fix it Goes one by one, even two by two. Everybody in the floor, let me show you how we do. Let's go. Dip it low, then you bring it up slow. Run it up one time, run it back once more. Come, run, 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 run. Everybody move on. Let me see you move on. Rock it to the groove. Run. Shake it to the moon because the sun. Everybody in the club and me around. singing saying her name let's show let's tell them what we're wearing today first my check first outfit check no she just goes last she just goes last okay let me get this in order all right so braids by i'll put it right here bodysuit zara coat leather trench is revolve and revolve Revolve or Revolt? I'm gonna have everything right here. Bag Balenciaga. Shoes, Rick Owens. And I got some dad socks by this brand. I'm gonna link, I'm gonna link everything right here. So yeah, that's my outfit of the day. Next, the coda. Next is the coda. So, I have the same thing as my mommy, please. I just got you yesterday leather jacket. She got on high top Converse's leather jacket from Zara. And we have this a mini purse from H&M H &M. and a graphic tee from Target. Girl, this is 
Hi, your friends. That's me. Um, sorry about that. And we have the long braid. Yeah. And we have this thing on. Show them the back of her shirt. Ooh. All right, guys. So we're heading out to the city. I'm debating if I'm gonna take the train or not. You wanna take the train or you take a cab? Cab. Two thirty, baby, won't you meet me by the beam? Two early, maybe later, you could show me things. You know what it is whenever I visit. Windy city, she blowing me kisses, snow. Thirty degrees, way too cold, so hold me tight. Well, I see you at the Thirty, baby, won't you meet me? Bite it, bite it. Too early, maybe later. You show me things. You know what it is when I visit. Is is windy city? She put me kisses. Snow. Thirty degrees, too cold, so hold me tight. Will I see you at the show tonight? Will I see you at the show tonight? to find this particular area that had the cherry blossoms couldn't find that area but look at this guys so pretty and look at Dakota you want to try to climb up the tree oh my gosh I never knew what theme I want my wedding to be but like I think this is it cherry blossom theme something like that Oh, so cute. Okay, let's get into taking pictures. <laughs> How you like it here? It's fine. So we had to get out the park because even though we didn't find the main thing that we were looking for, we found something, we were able to take some pictures. But the court is hungry, I'm thirsty. Guess how much, babe? How, guess how much that hot dog was? Bought out. It was four dollars, but that's crazy to me. I feel like back in the day. Yeah, this is not back in the day, girl. <laughs> not even back in the day. Like when I worked at Hollister, what? what five, six years ago. That's back it doesn't in the day. seem that long ago, but anyways, you talking a about hot when, dog you used to be two dollars. Yeah, you talking about when Chinese food was, was five dollars? Right. Oh my god, oh my. that is so Please. crazy to me. But yeah, right now we're getting a, a smoothie from this truck right here. How's the hot dog? Yeah. Can I have a bite? Ah. Thank you. Mm. Thanks for holding the door. Do you have anything to say to the camera? Vegan tacos, so I'm excited. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Hi. Sunday. Yeah, and this is a Sunday worse because whenever we, we live in a cab, but like, 
like it's funny like going like in like a parade and now it's like the dusty, musty, crusty train. <laughs> yeah, what she said was we basically called an Uber. Uber to go to the city, but there's a marathon going on by my house. And yeah, we waited for 20 minutes for the Uber driver to cancel on us. Now we're on the musty, dusty train, as Dakota said. Yeah! But yeah, we have a photo shoot today, mommy and me. We're running late. So sorry. If you're watching this. since I filmed that skincare routine situation and yeah no new breakouts so those products work for my skin I am breakout free so I love that for me um these braids these braids I love them so much but they gotta come out not because they're like bad or anything like she did an amazing job if you guys are in Brooklyn you should definitely check her out I'll link her information down below my thing is, um, I have traumatized the center of my head so much with pressure and like forcing my hair into a ponytail and applying so much pressure in the middle that caused my hair to go bald in the middle several times that now that the hair has grown back, it's sensitive to touch. Like, yeah, so before my hair falls out again from it being in a ponytail, I'm gonna take it out. Now, when it's in this bun style, it there's no pressure on it, it actually feels pretty good. But, I don't know, I don't really like the bun. It's not giving sexy, and that's all I'm gonna give 2022. Sexy, grown sexy, this is giving cute. It's not giving sexy, like I like it when it's hanging and it's like this like right instantly when i dropped it like this whole area is just like <gasps> pick me up pick me up so yeah i can't do it to myself um if your head is not as as sensitive as my head i highly recommend this his, his hairstyle it's so cute i got so many compliments and yeah like i want to do it again like i don't know where to take it out but can't do it to myself like hair matters to me like I want to be that girl in my 30s with flourishing skin long hair long thick hair like I just want to be that girl in my 30s I don't want to be like I don't know what to say but like I don't want to be that girl I want to be the girl where I look amazing in my 30s 40s 50s 60s like 70s I'm gonna accept the fact that I'm old but like until I'm 60s, mid-60s, like, I want to be flourishing. I want to be in the best shape. I want to look good. I want my teeth to look good. And I know I'm only going to be in those positions if I treat myself good now. So, a lot of times I'll be telling myself, like, I want to be them girls that, you know, get new hairstyles every two weeks and do all that. But I know if I put so much stress on my hair by doing it every week or two weeks, my hair's going to fall out. And all those big dreams I have... For future me is like not gonna happen if I'm like mishandling myself but I'm also telling myself like you're only gonna live once and like 
yeah you gotta find a median and i feel like my median is kind of like you know doing everything in moderation so i'm trying to just like spread my hairstyles out by not feeling crazy or like underkept the more you handle your hair the more it breaks and it's just like a, i don't know natural girls if you get me let me know if you don't so next week i plan on vlogging obviously but on top of that i want to do another video so i'm thinking about doing a get ready with me it's been a while i have a few new things but i want to take a trip to sephora so if you guys have any suggestions on things i should pick up from sephora let me know but yeah i'll see you guys in my next vlog love you guys so i completely forgot to show you guys my flowers my just because flowers he did that if he did one thing he did that um this is my first time hearing about this brand but i checked out their instagram and this is not their best flower let me just say that and this is a an amazing flower so yeah i told him I feel bad for future him because he gotta come like this every time. Every time. Like, it's like once you up it, you gotta keep keep up the energy because yeah.